Regardless of what people tell you, it's diversity that makes America great. We've had our growing pains when it comes to how we view each other. And in many cases, we're still growing. Jim Crow laws, which were passed primarily in the South following the Civil War and Reconstruction, were intended to disenfranchise the newly freed African Americans. It would take a civil rights movement over many years full of boycotts and protests to end it. So to give my students a taste of what it was like to live in Jim Crow South, I'm gonna segregate them, but not based on their race, but by their grade. So I'm gonna convince them that our school's gonna pass some new policies that just so happen to parallel a lot of the Jim Crow laws from the recent past. The administration met with a few teachers and they came up with new school policies for next year. The board wants your feedback on these policies before they approve them in two weeks. So these are what we've all collectively come up with to make the school better for you guys, to basically get rid of problems before they start. Your voice is important. We're looking for your opinion. So the whole goal is we want everyone to enjoy the school. There's not, no judgment, just be respectful. Freshmen and sophomores will have all their classes on the first floor while juniors and seniors will be focused on the second floor. What's your problem, Christine, with it? No, because some of us were friends with the juniors and seniors. I support it because, like, if you think about it, it's, like, less traffic between, like, people that know where they're going and people that don't know where they're going. So who here thinks, a show of hands, we should separate the, the floors based on grade to make it more efficient of a school? Who here would be against it? Okay. No juniors or seniors can use the bathroom or water fountains on the first floor if their classes will be on the second floor. Because you can't just come downstairs to use the bathroom and the water fountains if we're going to limit you guys to the second floor. Who has issues with that? I say no. Why? Because sometimes after lunch, you just got to do your business. Like, you actually have to use the bathroom sometimes. Oh, you don't have to go into detail. We got the point. <laughs> That's like totally isolating all, like, all of the classes from each other. By show of hands, who here thinks that Limiting people to a bathroom and water found on their floor is a good idea. Who here thinks it's a bad idea? Okay. Juniors and seniors cannot date or take any freshman, sophomore to any school event. So why do you think it's a bad idea? I mean, I can see your point like with freshmen and seniors, but what if a junior wanted to take a sophomore? That's only a year difference. I understand what you're saying, but we're thinking as adults and parents. So that's wrong because Again, once you step into the school, you are our responsibility. If you think freshmen and sophomores should not be allowed to interact with upperclassmen, raise your hand. If you think they should be able to interact, raise your hand. Yes. What's the point of having one school if you don't want us to interact? Just so you know, these aren't really new school policies for next year. Okay. All right, does anyone know any time in history when it was kind of okay to separate people? In the 50s and 60s, does anyone know what that time was called? We're getting into it now. Jim Crow laws. So just to give you an idea, freshmen and sophomores will have all their classes on the first floor while juniors and seniors second floor. That is literally every major state in the South had a segregation law in reference to private facilities. No junior or senior can use a bathroom or water fountain on the first floor. That is the equivalent of, again, Jim Crow South. Separate bathrooms and water fountains were used throughout the South. Juniors and seniors can't date freshmen and sophomores or take freshmen and sophomores to any school dance. No, it's like it's interracial relationships. So yeah. interracial relationships were not allowed up until 1967. Well, Mr. Ferroni asked us a series of questions based on new school policies and he related them to the Jim Crow laws. And I feel like it was really effective in making us aware of what they were like. Back then we couldn't be able to like interact with each other, but now we're mixed. We're just a mix of different types of cultures. You have to be taught to not like a certain race. Like, if you weren't taught that, then you'll get along with everyone. Like, if you want something done, get up and do it. Don't just stand there, like, you're just wasting more time. Something I would take away would be, no matter what I believe in, I'd have to stand strongly and firmly and do whatever it takes to get it. I'm gonna learn to be more fair and be more outspoken towards it and not let it happen as much as it usually does because as much as everybody wants to make a change, the change starts with you. So what do you think makes America great? Super Cake.